For RCR Wireless News, my name is Sean Kinney, and we're here at Mobile World Congress with Ken Sanfeld of Solid to learn a little bit more about some of the announcements that you're making at the show. So, Ken, tell us what, uh, what's coming out at Mobile World Congress. So, what we've announced uh, today at uh, Mobile World Congress is our Genesis DAS. Uh, last year, we announced the Genesis Rack solution, VRAN solution, and this year, we've announced the DAS to go with it. Uh, it's a very significant announcement for us um, because it's a whole new generation of DAS platform for Solid. And uh, it, you know, it's, it's really going to be a middle price game changer from an infrastructure standpoint. So tell us a little bit more about uh, Genesis DAS and, and how it serves this middle price space. Uh, so how it serves the middle price space is it allows the, uh, it allows the middle price to be able to use structured cabling solutions versus coax. That's, the, that's one of the big, the big draws is the ability to use cat cables and fiber cables um, versus the coax, which lowers your insulation cost. And most importantly, it makes it much more friendly solution for an enterprise to deploy. Uh, cat, you know, fiber and cat cables are very friendly, uh, Wi-Fi like, if you will, or IT like, IT friendly. And so it, it's something that they can get an ROI out of by deploying additional infrastructure versus the coax where it's a single purpose architecture and there's really no other purpose for it other than the RF that you're trying to do. So um, uh, that's a huge, uh, huge announcement for us. The, uh, the other thing that we're announcing is the ability to deploy this um, and kind of be more of a 5G ready platform, right? So it's, we're encouraging people to start using more fiber based platforms, uh, which allows you to be kind of future ready for high bandwidth 5G architectures. So you discussed some of the, the benefits of the solution. Uh, as you were developing Genesis DAS, can you tell me about some of the problems that you're trying to solve with it? Uh, cost. <laughs> you know, I mean, ultimately, if you take the, da the cost of a DAS system today, fiber coax, and all the deployment and, and uh, you know, PIM management and all those coax type things you have to deal with, trying to reduce the overall cost of the, of the solution so th and make it easier for an enterprise to deploy. Um, ultimately, they're still going to be working with an integrator that's trained in DAS solutions to design it and put it together, but ultimately they can deploy their own cabling teams to cable the building. And that's ultimately the biggest challenge, is driving down the electronics cost and making the whole system plug and play together without having too much to do. And that's really the overall uh, accomplishments that we've achieved with Genesis. And I know it's still early, but what's the customer response looking like so far? Uh, it is a little bit early, but so far it's, it's pretty exciting. Everyone, everyone's very, very pos po positive of, of the solution. Um, the thing that they like the most is that we haven't forgotten about our legacy solutions. So the Alliance platform is you know, forward compatible with Genesis, um, and that's a really big one, right? They want to be able to uh, know that we're not leaving behind the, uh, the legacy solutions, and we're not. They're going to be uh, compatible with each other, um, the other thing that, that is significant to the Genesis platform in terms of uh, our customers is in addition to the low power devices, we also have 5 watt, 20 watt, 40 watt remotes as well. So even though our focus is to cater to the middle prize, we're obviously going to let the RF engineers figure out what they want to use and they're going to choose between low power as well as 5 to 40 watt amplifiers as well. So you might have a facility that uses the low power remotes for, um, uh, for the office building, and then you might have another part of the building or a parking garage where your coax cables are more suitable. So it's totally mix and match uh, for the engineers to be able to design the system, and that's gonna be pay dividends to the enterprise overall. So over the next four days here at MWC, what's your key message gonna be from Solid? Uh, the key message obviously is gonna be focusing on the Genesis architecture, and the key there is really going to be driving home the savings that you're going to get from a structured cabling solution. I mean, that is really what it's all about, right? Is knowing that we we're, last year we started talking about the rack solution to solve the connection to the, to the core networks, and this year is all about solving for the infrastructure solution. And really, that, and that's really where, where Genesis comes into its own, right? Is, is, uh, is focusing on that portion of things. Ken, I really appreciate you taking the time to keep us up to date on how Solid's working to address this middle prize market. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.